So it's a beautiful late July evening and we're out with Owen Beardsmore again of Service UK. So Owen, what have we got planned tonight? Well, we're out early because it's that time of the year, fields of gold yeah. and road books are running hopefully. Um, it started very early last week, uh, some decent weather and then as you know over the weekend the rain's come in and then this weather's picked up so hopefully tonight I've got one book in particular we're after and we're going to go out and see if we can get him. I mean, the crops have hardly been cut, so there's plenty of vegetation, mm. but hopefully the old call might just fetch him in. Irresistible. Uh, <laughs> and we can do our best. Okay, good. So the plan is to stalk out to start with? And... Yeah, I've got a field where there's a standing wheat where um, I know there's a book and a doe. Um, and um, it's, to be fair, it's, it's right near a busy road. Uh, it would be a shame he got knocked down by a bus. Uh, he's an old book and it's a good one to take for us so uh, that's the one we're going to try for safety is going to be paramount um, so it might be up close and personal if he comes into the call you know what i mean so, so just be ready uh, yeah we'll do our best and as we always do great and um, put some suntan cream on and get out there well it's nice to be out with you again always a pleasure ian So what an amazing evening stalking. This, this is what the rut's all about, right? Yeah, frustration. Yeah. <laughs> but you knew this big lad was out there. Yeah. You've got him on camera before. Yeah. You've had him coming in yeah. with a with a doe, literally just to same doe, I reckon. Standing yeah, standing distance away. Oh, it was... Didn't quite get that close tonight, though. No, he, well, he wasn't in the field I expected him to be in, and uh, well, he just erupted out of the hedge, didn't he? Yeah, chasing it is. Her. And it was fascinating to watch how. The buck reacted to the doe. She was definitely in charge. She came out looking for the call, and then the buck kind of followed her. He was completely oblivious to oh, what was going around him. Days. He knew exactly what he was after, yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, the light came in, and you know, perhaps she winded us or heard yeah. us. Or but then that young buck appeared, mm. didn't he? If he'd have just stepped out a little, didn't we have some fun? Yes, we did. So thank you very much indeed <laughs> no again. Problem, another great hunt, and no doubt Excellent. we'll be back from another time. Do our best. If these rain clouds stay away, then we'll be lucky. Fingers crossed. Well done. So Owen, 
We're back again after after this big boy. Back in town. He gave us a bit of a led us a bit of a merry dance last time. Yeah. Now we've been away for well, it's three days yeah. and third day back. Um, there's been some changeable weather here, so sunshine showers, sunshine showers, and a really heavy downpour earlier on. Yeah. So actually, out, this so. this should bode quite well for us. Hopefully. Um, I mean, it's the same conditions as we were actually what we arrived on, isn't it? So uh, I'm hoping now six o'clock they're out in here somewhere. Um, I was hoping for the field to be cut, but it isn't. Yeah. But third time lucky, let's go and have a go. Cool. Um, Looking forward to it. Let's <laughs> see if we can get him this time. You've done well so far, so. <laughs> Wind's better for us now, isn't it? Yeah. So, if we just keep tight in this long grass, if they come rushing through, then we can just shrink down and see what we can do with them. Just there. Uh, but was walking across. Holy mackerel. Wow. <laughs> what a pretty bug. Put a sign in the mass on him, mate. Get away on that. What an incredible buck. Leaving the best to last. And what an incredible experience. Now, obviously we came the other evening, he led us a merry dance, a wily old buck, but you've, you've got his pattern sussed. <laughs> yeah, I, d I, I don't know. I don't know what it what, what it's been, but you know, you, you obviously you, you deliver all the time. But this this book in particular, he came in like a steam train. I've never seen anything like well, it. Remember, I was 15, 20 yards to the side of you, yeah. and I wasn't quite sure what you could see. But he went into the nettles, and I stopped him. And as soon as he stopped and he looked, he licked his nose, and he knew the wind was right for him. It wasn't right for us. And I just did a couple of calls, and they just came like a train. And then I could see him coming, and he. Last week he did the same for a client and just ran straight past him, you know what I mean? So I just went, ah! Oh. Pulled on the anchors and... 12 yards. And that was at 12 yards. 12 yards. So even I can hit a roebuck at 12 yards. Although I have to say, it was a, a little bit blurry in the scope, but um, oh, no, it's, it, he is magnificent. Well, look at this, I mean, you don't see those trophies every day. And, no. You know, we've known about him, and, and I would say probably he's a book of five or six years old. Um, but there's plenty of books in the area. Oh yeah, we've, we've, we've seen the a lot night, of animals. The other night we saw a perfect six here, just mm. on the stage, didn't we, that we filmed, and um, you know, he's the next guy to take over. Yeah. So, well, it's, it, it pays testament to your management processes, <laughs> the, the very fact that you do leave young sixes so they can grow into these mature sixes. I mean, look at him. He is beautiful. beautiful. A great animal, a great beautiful. stalk, beautiful environment. And uh, no, great privilege, you know, and no, thank, thank you very you. much indeed. No, thank you. I, it's been a pleasure to take you out here.